Welcome back to 101.5 FM, Eclectic Avenue. I'm here with Shelley Morris. She's just come off stage. What a great performance. Oh, thanks, Robert. That's lovely of you. Uh, you're really quite beautiful out there with your voice and yourself, of course. One thing that interested me, though, is that you were brought up in the Shire, uh, Cronulla, and um, from a non-Indigenous family, but you're so, your dialect of, the, uh, of your language was so beautifully sung and talked. Is, how, how did you end up learning all that? Well, I went home 16 years ago and my mother and father who adopted me, who are my heroes still today, they encouraged me to find my family and then they flew up to the NT with me and then we went around and uh, we met all my family and so I've stayed in the Territory now for 16 years and I've worked in 70 remote communities doing music workshops with the Fred Hollows Foundation and other organisations encouraging young people to have a voice and then eventually all the languages came but it did take a lot of work I mean, now I could probably sing in about 14 Aboriginal language from remote communities in NTWA. I've still got um, 186 to go. Um, but I'm just so proud to be a part and to encourage young people to have a voice through song. And with your songs yourself, they're very much written from the heart. Well, the ones you play today were anyway. Uh, do you feel is it, do you feel that's an easier style to write or do you just... Does it come naturally from the heart or is it harder? I think just writing from the heart, I think that's the most important thing for me. I'm not, I'm not a pop writer. I, I just write what, what's within at that moment, all the stories that have been told. And I just feel really proud that I've actually got a, an opportunity to sing them. You know, what, a, what an honour that is to come to a festival and actually have people come to your gig. I mean, I do play all over the world now and I'm very, very, very blessed. I'm lucky, whatever the word is, but I've worked extremely hard to, to have that happen in my life and I've always believed in a dream. So what got you into music in the first place uh, with your singing and your playing the guitar? Did you bring it up through your family or did you get it away from that? No, I was always very musical so mum and dad encouraged me. I learned piano at home and then guitar from a boyfriend and then eventually was opera trained as a singer. So, But I didn't like that style of opera. And then I went and did a contemporary music course. But I was always working at that time. And um, so I'm, I'm very, as I said, blessed now to be able to be a full-time musician and uh, um, travel the world and, and share our stories from home and share the story of love, you know, between both societies. You know, my family, call my white family family, my white family. You know, we're all one family now. And it's a great story of reconciliation. And it's a great story of love. Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, there's a lot of people. You're educating a lot of new people to not only your music but to your history as well, which I think is incredibly important. Uh, you're also very funny on stage. I must say, uh, whenever you smiled, I had the massive biggest smile on my face. I think it's fantastic. I, I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. Can I say that? <laughs> Oh, well, I, I mean, I, I, we didn't get the proposal of marriage, but anyway, we're getting there. Maybe that's the next interview. But uh, thank you so much. Look, it's really important just to be able to share that, and, and I think humour is just such a great way. There's no blame game. This, this is just the way it is. And, and Aboriginal people, in, especially at home, <laughs> they have the wickedest sense of humour, and I'm so lucky to be a part of that. There's not a day that goes by. You know, with all the tr troubles and the tragedies that we have, we've learnt to laugh, and I think sharing that is a great thing. Thanks, Rob. Oh, excellent. Hey, uh, you got any albums out can, anywhere where we can um, buy your music? Uh, yes, I've got albums available on iTunes. I have an album here releasing here at Woodford. That'll be up on iTunes very, very shortly, within a few weeks. It's called Cloud Nine, Shelley Morris with an IE, lag airman. And also I've got a new, another album all in language coming out in uh, March, April, and that's called Together We're Strong or Nambalawiji Le Wonongo. Excellent. Um, just to uh, full, uh, finish up, uh, where can we find you on the internet? Like through Facebook? You got any uh, other sort of places that we can look you up? Um, I've got Facebook. I've also got a website. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, so there's plenty of places that you can um, find me. It's Shelley Morris, www.shellymorris.weebly.com. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shelley. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, my lord.